Uh, this is part uh, five, I think, of the Colin Thompson um, Colin Thompson Fantastique colour book. And following on from the Dermot watercolour pencils, I decided to use them in the entire book. Uh, so there's 72 in the set, so I'll be working mostly out of there, except for the, the wooden bookshelves, which I'm using the burnt umber. Um, and I'm quite enjoying this quiet, dry way of working. Uh, this is a live stream for YouTube.tv and also recorded for YouTube uh, for people to watch at their leisure. And um, I'm very enjoying working in this book. And all I'm using is a tablespoon of water in a little flat pot and mainly three paintbrushes that I can dunk and then wipe on a baby wipe. And that gives me the perfect brush to have colour on the end and a damp brush to really get these watercolour effects without using tons of water. Um, and these pages are then completely flat, which I like. So I keep finding some green things in here. So I'm going back in here with the green. Um, and just giving the, this grey scale a bit of a, a malover. So that's seed number 15. I'm using the Derwent and I've got the full set of pencils. But I'm using them out of the paper palette. So the damp brush is just picking up enough colour to just give this a bit of a tint. And the beauty of the grayscale is, of course, you don't have to really do anything watercolour-wise. All you have to do is to just, if you just touch the colour and everything else will come out. I might use that one here, actually, I think. This is mineral green. I think this one lends itself to mineral green. So I may have to go to a smaller brush because... There are some finer things on here, and this is one of them. Uh, this leaf is a bit is a bit tiny. So I've just got to be that little bit careful that I don't go through. In fact, I may have to work with this brush because. It is a bit of a tiny space. I'm just watching the postman because <laughs> it could be a bark alert any minute. So just bear with me two seconds because I'm pretty sure he's going to Gone. It's not our normal postman, so he could be back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to pop that there. And then you can see that a little bit better. And I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I was doing that leaf there. So, um, just give me two seconds. I just have to ask. Samantha, yeah. the postman is about, Where is he? he's outside, oh no he's gone, oh we didn't have anything, that's fine. I sent off for some plastic, um, I sent for some plastic, I just have to ask my daughter to make me a cup of tea. I sent off for some plastic um, pumpkins with lamps and lights in them because I want to make I uh, was watching um, DD Willingham on Inky Well and Coffee Night in the Morning on Ustream and she did the most beautiful um, pumpkin collage mixed media um, and my daughter we've just been to the Star Trek 
um, 50th anniversary and I just thought I've got to make um, I've got to collage or just maybe paint over the top of this lit pumpkin because all the stars will light up and then I could do the enterprise um, or attempt I shall show you to paint the enterprise and um, I thought that would be quite good for her room because she's moved away from home and it will light up so I thought that would be quite good <laughs> so I sent off for four and I thought that's what the gentleman had in his hand but it's not our normal postman <laughs> uh, yes Suzanne but um, have a look on uh, they are lovely though Suzanne says she's going to have to have the full set of Derwent watercolour pencils. I'm hoping Derwent will bring out the little um, watercolour pad that I've made, paper palettes of colour, and then people can buy that as a travel set, and if they like them, they can then buy the whole set, but of course they have they have a way of practicing with all the colours. Um, but I haven't heard back from them yet, so I'm going to have to bite the bullet and ring them up and say, look, I've just designed this 21st century watercolour palette that will hold all your pencils and also act as a sample. I don't think they're that much I don't think they're that much um from Derwent, but I don't know how much shipping is to America. But I'll have a look. I don't think they are that much, but again I think with the shipping. Um with the shipping. It adds a bit more on, doesn't it? Suzanne says she's found them United Arts for $99, is it $99, I presume, is it $99? I know they're, they're not that much over here, but then again, you've got the postage. Um... Yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. All I'm doing is just just reconstituting this into colour and stroking the colour onto these. It's, it's really dry. I mean, you can touch it. And I love that way because if you happen to just put your hand over it or your sleeve, um, you're not going to do any, any real damage because sometimes you spend a long time on these pages. Um, so I have to say I'm a bit obsessed by my Derwent pencils and I love the ink tents as well I love the ink tents as well but I don't want to use the ink tents on here and I don't want them to go through on the Bible pages I've been doing so um, as I say I'm pretty obsessed with these at the moment And I hope I'm still in frame. I think I am. So you can just follow the colours. And because it's a grayscale, most of the work's done for you. It's just if you want to add it that little bit extra, you can do. But if you just cover the whole thing. I'm on the wrong brush. thought I was. I've been using the, um, the three brushes for this. And again, it, that lends itself to just very quickly filling in colour. which is quite a pleasant way, sorry, I've got the camera. I've got, um, just put that on there. And hopefully that means I won't be, I'll still be in light. Um, 
And so I really love this peaceful, quick, and uh, it's a gentle way of colouring. And that's why it works for Bible journaling as well, because you need that quiet, meditative state. And I don't know if I've said that right. <laughs> And it is very therapeutic colouring, and I can't seem to see those colours very well. I think that's going to be a daisy, so I'm going to leave. Uh, I think I might have a, a yellow daisy. I'm going to use primrose yellow because it's very pale. And I just feel I want that to be primrose yellow. And I've got to pick a green, so I'm going to sap green, I think, for this one. Sorry, it's an old cottage when a lorry goes past. probably need to go to a smaller brush. I can just stroke a little bit of colour in here. Oh, same frame. Can everybody see that? I wanted it a slightly different green to but it can be quite pale. I have to put the book back here so I can sort of crossing over every time I want to use it. Now there's a little tiny person. We'll call him a person because it's got legs and arms. A little diddy one. Oh, Susan says Jerry has them for Jerry's has them for seventy two ninety nine. Blix is the same, but for three pounds more. You can get them in the wooden box. Oh, yes. I bought the wooden box um, from a closing a shop that was closing down. And it had other things in it, and I didn't want them. So she let me have the box. I was very lucky. Um, so again, I'm using this little flesh pink colour here, which is very neutral. You can see that. And I'm picking out these little people. I call them people because they've got legs and arms, but they've got funny faces. And that's just taken off that um, the stark white. And this is one of these golden dragons, and I can't think what colour they are. So I'm going to Google it. <laughs> if in doubt, Google it. I'll just Google what that is. Some are red and some are gold. Um, Give me two seconds, we'll just find a Chinese, oh we could do it like that, but it isn't one of those. I like the green, the green one, but it's not that one, it's, um, it's, um, what do you call it, um, statue isn't it? Oops, everything's going off because it doesn't like it, oh now, there we are, look. He's metallic. And he's a dunny patina, he's going mouldy. <laughs> so that's that's quite interesting. So if you press that one again and just come down and go down. 
um, he's a stone color then he's not he's a stone color look oh there oh look there he is how amazing is that we found him he's in marble i think oh it's a chinese dog it's not a dragon it looks like alfie <laughs> I found Alfie! Yes! <laughs> I found Alfie. Definitely found Alfie. Um, very quickly, I'll show you this from yesterday. Um, my daughter knits uh, little hats for, for babies. And um, she knitted one for the other dog but we put him in it <laughs> she just sits there and crochets them and makes them up oh wow Suzanne well that's brilliant look at him bless his little socks um, but he's not he's not the monster <laughs> look at the monster in the green hat the big eyes He's definitely the dragon dog, Chinese dragon dog. <laughs> no, I don't think they are. I don't think the metallics are. There's just 72. There's just 72. Um, I think I've got, I don't know what I've got, metallics. Um, and I was going to have a go with these. And I was very silly and very naughty. Um, but I'll have a go with these colour soft. Because uh, I saw them and my daughter's done some beautiful things with these. Uh, but I can't use them. So I was most upset. But I must have a play with them so you can see. The tin's got dinted. Um, I may have a play with those at some point. Just to show you how good Derwent products are. Because they are pretty amazing. Look at that on there. So I was looking for the... Um, the metallic ones I've got are the Caran uh, And again, these were, these were in a... These were in the bottom of I didn't buy these. These were in the bottom of this box that I bought from eBay. Um, but they're metallic, and they go in your little they go in your little book, watercolor book because they are watercolor soluble. Um, so, I've got, so I've got the dragon. So we know what color he is now. He's marble colour. Mm. Marble could be primrose. Oh, I can do primrose and then if I need to rejiggle it. So I've got primrose number four. Um. But the reason I've got these paints, I, I mean, I've had those for 20 odd years. Um, a lot of my stash is old. A lot of it's old. Um, so I bought, and I buy, I used to buy things off eBay because I just couldn't afford them. So um, it's only recently. And then. Um, going to have to tighten the purse strings because hubby wants to give up work but I spend more than he earns so, <laughs> so uh, I don't think this is the right colour for marble but it, it's just giving a bit of colour um, but I can definitely see the King Charles Spaniel in that <laughs> I can definitely see I can definitely see the naughty boy in there
even the cross-eyed bit, he's still naughty. And he's got his foot on a ball. So I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that tennis ball. I don't think it is a tennis ball, but I'm going to make it a tennis ball because Alfie loves his tennis balls. So I'm going to make that pea green. Uh, green, grass green. Because that's definitely... He doesn't keep them for long. He destroys them within about five minutes. So I don't know if that's right, but he's having a green tennis ball. <laughs> he's got green around his mouth because he's he destroys them. I hope that shows up a little bit. Yeah, Karen Dash is is, is a fab as well. Um, again, they were out when I was a student forty years ago, so. And that set I've had at least 25 years. Most of those I've had 25 years, apart from the six I bought. And then I kept looking at buying, having the full set and realised, I think there's 50 here. I think there's 50. Some are duplicated, though. Um, and I've put um, greaseproof paper in between. And those are the, they're the metallic, Karen Dash metallics. So they're quite nice. Get a little bit of a shimmer. Again, they, they would be quite good for the lettering in the Bible because they're like um, the Derwent pencils. They're not too vivid. So I could possibly do um, lettering in those. But I just love the Derwent pencils. So... Uh, And I would think this is going to be gold and red because it, and I found another little person there. Look. But I think we coloured him last time. This is a waterfall. This is a waterfall. So that can be blue, I think. It can be blue. Um, but I've got a garden gnome here. And so they normally have red noses, don't they? Yes, gouache is a good one. Um, but again, I'm just, I just like watercolouring. And again, you can't watercolour with gouache because it's a flat colour. Well, you can do, but you need lots of water. So my idea is I don't use lots of water, if I can help it. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream from Ustream.tv and also um, on YouTube for people to watch at their leisure and um, people are popping in and out and I'm just working in the Colin Thompson fantastic book and I'm picking um, just working in doing watercolours because I'm getting some quite nice watercolour effects um, without using a lot of water so the pages are really flat uh, and I'm using a tablespoon of water and three brushes. These are the Pro Out 103. And I chose them because they've got some quite nice chunky edges. So they're going to have a little bit of colour on and the dampness is going to give that watercolour effect. Um, so I could do that book actually, but I don't know what colour I want to do it. So uh, I'm not using the number three, but the, uh, the number five and the number three because things are rather small. Still haven't worked out what this is. I think it's a world because there's another one there, and we have an owl behind there, do we? So we're going to have a. I'm going to. I think that's an owl. So we're going to have. Um, I'm still working quite wet, so I'm dunking into here. And then I've got my baby wipe uh, in a dish because it does get saturated because you're taking a lot of color, a lot of water. And eventually you have to squeeze these out because they get full of water. If you're tight Yorkshire last like me, otherwise you can throw it away and get another one. So do pop it in a dish because it will it will eventually just run with water. 
and you're working quite dry so we're taking a lot of a lot of water out of there it's almost damp is that um I've forgotten what I was doing. I think that's a ram's horn. Not sure. So I was going to do the owl here. And he's right in the crease of the book. And there's a little um, grasshopper there. So I'm going to pick a brown. And there's enough colours in here. There's some lovely browns and fawns. So uh, I think we'll do tawny owl so I'm going to use brown 52 and again because it's all grayscale I can just go over it if I want to and I probably will actually because I'm not messing about in there because it's a bit fiddly and again I just can't see what's going on in there so I don't know why he's got a grasshopper on his head but he has Just, just giving him a little bit of colour. He doesn't need too much, but at least he's coloured in now. Yes, I've got both liquid and I bought them by accident. Liquid and um, liquid and pan gouache. Um, but again, they're in the back of here. I just use them when I'm water colouring, and I never think about the colours and what they are. If you wanted a very flat colour, like a mandala, if you wanted a flat colour, then that would be good for that. Um, so there's a little man, and he, he has a little bit of colour, but he's sat on a pot, but I don't know what kind of pot it is. I don't know what it is. I'm going for brass. I'm going for brass. So I'm going to use this yellow. Um, I'm going to use gold. So I'm going for the fact he's going to be sitting in a little brass. bow and there's just a hint of colour there but that again that's just taking that off there so if anybody's got any questions pop them in caps um not sure what to do with this colour here so we've got some green flowers going around here a door a palm tree and a person Oh, we've got some bananas. I think bananas would be... I think they would be this gold colour, actually, I have to say. Yeah, a bit of a banana colour there going on. And then we've got the flesh pink for hands. It just takes the colour off. And we'll give him a turquoise blue shirt. And um dark blue short. And he wants some trainers on, so trainers won't be coloured. No, no, don't do that, Alfie. If he has decided he wants to come back, I'm just going to probably give him some blue trainers. So he's done now. I've got to the point um, where I think I've got enough. <laughs> and my family definitely think I've got enough. Um... Do we want red? red scissors i think we'll have red scissors but i don't want pink and i'll go for rose madder then so we're going to have some red scissors that's a bit too wet so we'll just put those there and then get that across and a little bit of pink here so we've got some red scissors. Uh, put that on there. So we've got some red scissors. I think this is this is the way to do this book. It's a bit like a. Um, you just have to pick it off. Now these are eggs, so we're going to have brown eggs. 
and that looks like oh we've got a pterodactyl there so he's got to be brown um there's some green green in the distance possibly this shrub here quite like this green shrub And then, um, again, it's a grayscale, so it's very easy to do. And I don't know why they're having a conversation in there, but again, as soon as I stream, <laughs> they have a f everybody wants to phone up, but I quite like that little section in there. And we need some hills now. And I might just put some May green just up there to give a bit of colour because it's in the background. Uh, and I think this is in the background as well, but just a hint of colour. Um, and then when I redo the sky blue, I should put the sky blue in there, I think. Again, it's a little bit difficult to get to in here. We're right into the corner of the book. Um, I think... I think these are quite pale green, aren't they? So I use this grass green for the palm trees, the banana trees. I think the deeper actually I've just realised but this is a colour book so it can just have a bit of colour and again the grayscale is taking is taking um, control of, of what's happening I'm just applying a smidgen of colour so that's quite nice I quite like that colour. There's a, a green leaf down here. Um, I would think that's going to be a bark colour. So I'm going to I quite like that. And if I just go around the duck, the duck is going to stand out as well. So that's another little thing done. And I've got brown on there, so I can just go down there. That's done. Oh, hi, Bookworm. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, Watercolouring in the uh, Colin Thompson watercolour book. Um, I'm just going to have a, just have a bit of a artistic license with this one because it's a bit. I'll bring this down here and then using the sap green. So again, sap greens normally used for lots of things. And I'm really enjoying myself this morning, I have to say. Just, just colouring in and... So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. Uh, but this is very similar to the other Colin Thompson pages. And because it worked quite well, um, and I'm using a lot of other uh, supplies in other books, so this means I can really just chill out doing this in this book. Um, and that's something that's quite nice. And the other books I can do other things with. But this one and the Bible, Bible art journaling is probably the one I'll take with me when I go away to chill because I think that's quite nice. That's turned out really well and it was very quick. Um, so we've got a building. Um, I think that's a waterfall. 
they look like pencils so that's quite interesting <laughs> um, I'll probably do that quite dark but I'm pretty sure that they're pencils and I'll just have a bit of background in there what else do I need now I want something here um, I'm going to put the yellow again because I want that to look like it's daylight I don't know why but I do and so I've been using the gold and if I don't like it I can take it off but I want to show that there's light in there I said, you can only do this one way. You can't do dark and light and then light again. You can only do light, dark. If I really hated that, I could have gone over it, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to touch the green because I just want some kind of green in there. And there's all sorts going over there, but you know these are really diddy and tiny. Um, I obviously need a pale fawn for the pencil shade itself. So I'm going to go with this. So obviously all the pencils are going to be the same. And then we want some colours. So again, now we can have... Um, a purple pencil and that's probably a little bit too dark but hey ho and we can have um, a vivid pink as well and again I'm having to wash the brush out because I'm not using all the colour and we could have a nice orange, scarlet lake, ready orange. And then we'll have a bright blue. I don't know if you can see that. Then we have a little creature, so I'll push the paintbrush out in there. I've just realised that's the sun, isn't it? Here, look, that's the sun. And so that will be golden. Interesting. So we're going to have to use this uh, cadmium yellow here. Again, it shows me the scale that I want. So I think that's a very good sun. So I'm going to go in there with this. And I mean, it could be the moon. It didn't have to be the sun, does it? But I just think it lends itself to being... And because these brushes are quite chunky, you can actually get a flat. If you want a flat, you can use it flat. So it goes like that. Oops. So you can use it as a little fat pan. And then you can get a really nice square. No, I don't. I tend to twist because that's how I <laughs> that's how I roll. But everybody's their own. And then, if you carried on, because of the grayscale, all the work's done for you. You just carry on, but you can't be too thick with the colour because obviously your grayscale won't show through. But if you very carefully take that up through there, you've got a natural progression of colour 
and you haven't done anything. So you've got a really natural progression up there. And all you've done is uh, so I'll carry on until the uh, DD arrives, but I think the DD's on, but I think Hubby normally gets home earlier and he, he comes to tell me it's time to get off. <laughs> and so I'm a bit like Ken Dodd, once I'm here, I'm here. Especially if I'm doing something, it's uh, it's quite nice to have somebody um, kind of keep an eye on your work and say, oh, I didn't like that, or that looks okay. And it's quite nice to have a bit like a second opinion. So it's really lovely that people keep bobbing in and out and having a chat. So I do appreciate that. Now, I should have kept those white, but I've gone over there a little bit. So I was hoping to keep these white, but we'll see. Because I can keep the eggs white. That was my idea. Because um, they look like proper white eggs. They don't look like brown eggs. They're not speckled. And as I say, because the grayscale is there, I'm just stroking the colour in. And... There's not much work at all in this this section. Where's little Terra? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm taking him with you. No, nope, little Terra's not taking him with me. So my daughter's gone upstairs and she's left her phone playing in the kitchen. And I'm streaming live. Don't you love children? <laughs> my husband had a phone call. He's standing in front of me having a phone call when I'm streaming live. And then they wonder why you kind of scream at them. Yeah, she's left her phone playing. Isn't that good? Somebody say, don't work with children and animals. <laughs> and I say, don't work with children's animals and hobbies. Having said that, mine's wonderful because he brings me cups of tea. So you can't have everything, can we? And I don't know where the little dog's gone. So I quite like that, actually. I've squiddled off the page, sorry about that. I quite like that. I think I'm going to have to carry it on all the way through. I'm pretty sure I will have to. And again, I'm just going to go over that one because, again, it's not looking through anything at the minute. And it probably is a, ter a nighttime moon because of the, the pterodactyl, but I've made it daylight now. I was thinking that maybe that, that didn't do that, it should be blue, but... Hey ho! It's definitely brightened the page of a bit anyway. That would be a nice contrast with this, this shiny scissors. See, that's getting quite quite wet, is that? 
but it'll just dry out and allow me to put some more colour over the top which I think is pretty amazing I have to say maybe I should have done a blue sky under the under the yellow but oh well it's done now it's done now I can't put blue over it now because it will go green um, if I put blue over that because it's not like the ink turns it's not like fast if I put blue over that it would go green um, but it's fine I can live with that it's made the eggs stand out a little bit if anybody's got any questions pop them in the Caps. It's got a little birdhouse, so again, back to the fawn brown colours. And a little birdhouse could be this colour. Frame now, I might have down there a little bit. Just colouring in that. Um, this is probably a blue sky, so we've got a little bit of a um, a brownish house. This is tiny, this. And again, I want the yellow house. Somebody's home with a candle lit. So we're going for. Um, going for the gold one, I think. Just a little bit. There could be a yellow eye looking out of there. Now I'm going to stay with this fine brush because this is a bit fine, and we want some. We need some brown. And that one's bamboo, so I'm going to do that one a different colour. Um, so I hope you're all having fun, and uh, I hope this isn't as boring as watching paint dry. Because <laughs> I'm always frightened that once you've done one page, uh, like the books, this is very similar. I'm not working quite as wet because some of these images are very small and they don't lend themselves to be you just need a hint of colour especially on something like this um, definitely need to uh, steal but if I go over this again very gently look, you'll see same brown but now we have the highlight of those two going around so that's quite nice and that's done now so now we have another pot um, and I'm just going to use a smidging of water because I've got a bit of brown on there and I quite like that I don't actually know what that is, but I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of give it a bit of colour. And we've got the butterfly. I'm tempted to make him a, a blue butterfly. Yes, I'm going to make him a blue butterfly, although I love him being white there. I think I want to make him a blue butterfly and we'll have a blue butterfly so he stands out a little bit um, and it is just quite nice to flick over these six pages of colour 
I need a bamboo colour now, so I'm actually going to use this colour, I think. I think this is bamboo colour. I'm not I'm using straw. I'm going to use straw colour. And again, this is quite fine, this. So this isn't watercolour, this is just getting the colour onto the end of the paintbrush. And when I pull a dog hair, well, I'm going to cut a, one dog hair um, from near his tail. And I'll be nowhere near his tail, and then I'm going to paint that in there. Because that's the wiry dog tail. In fact, if my daughter brushes him, so I'm going to use these green ones now, and I think these might be a little bit artificial. How do I do them dark? Decisions, decisions. Oh, I think I like them dark. If anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. That's a little house, that. <laughs> a real tiny little house. And again, if you did them all exactly the same, it would be fine because the grayscale actually takes care of all that. So you don't really have to worry about the grayscale. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to have a look for that. That's a bit tiny, that. <laughs> Even for me. It looks like a toadstool. Um, but seeing as these look like strawberry flowers and strawberry leaves, it could be a strawberry. Um, they look like strawberries or brambles so how are we doing for time Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, so this is a, a live stream, although I'm not really live. I've had a few hours sleep, and uh, it's uh, it's taking its toll. So I'm, I'm in a bit of a world of my own, but I'm really enjoying. I mean, these are really tiny. I mean, that's the end of the paintbrush. Really tiny little things. Fifteen minutes, right? So Dee Dee's on in 15 minutes, so I shall uh, I'll finish up this little section here. And um, I'm just following these little flowers. Oh, there's some ladybugs as well. Look. Ma'am, now these are really did you know? <laughs> this paintbrush is a 10-0. So these little bugs are quite diddy. Uh, as I say, it's almost a bramble kind of primrose. I think it's a primrose. Uh, but I can't see any strawberries. I don't know what they are. I'm just going to go this way a little bit. Because I'll forget if I don't do them now. I'll forget to go back 
uh, so everybody pop over to DD uh, is Inkywell and um, um, oh, brain in gear and coffee and art in the morning on new stream for live chat and lots of laughter. There's something wonderful about DD shows. You always feel so much better when you've watched one. Because you've had a laugh, you've had a giggle and you've seen a lot of art. So it's very inspiring. Perfect therapy for any ailment. And uh, Dee Dee's my inspiration for uh, streaming because I wouldn't have dared stream live before and then uh, so she inspired me to do that as she does everybody so I call her the Queen of Stream. And I mean it all sincerely because I think it's Dee Dee's fault we're all streaming, isn't it? Yes, 10 zero is, is 10 past zero. So you have a zero um, and then you have a five zero and then you'll have a 10 zero. And so a zero will be here somewhere. That's how it works. They normally only do a five and a ten. I do have zeros in these. I'll show you all the ones I've got. Um, the Artmaster 55 is quite good for dry for dry things. Um, these are all 55s. And that's 55. Um, that isn't a 55 it's called a liner but i would call that as a 10 zero liner and that's a 10 zero um series 55 so there's a difference uh, but that's a daily rounder one so if i just get rid of those and keep the art masters um and then that's Pro Stroke 60 miniature. And these are normally a couple of quid. So that's why I buy them. <laughs> They're not two or three pounds. Now they all look like that. But when you've dunked them all in water, and they will behave themselves. Apart from that one because it's been squidged. So we have a two. Oh, that's an Outmaster Series 11, so that doesn't count. So we have a 10 0 and a 5 0. And that one doesn't count because it's not an Outmaster. And that's a 2 0. Um, that's a 0. Now, some of these have been quite well worn, so they're not as good as they should be. So that one's to go, whoopsie, there. That's another 10 zero, so we won't count them twice. And then that one's not a series 11. So I have a zero, oh, I have a two in the Art Master Pearl series 55. I have a two, two zero, a thingy zero, and a 10 zero. So if I put those like this, can everybody see those? have a white piece of paper underneath can everybody see those so I have they're all art master 55s so we have a two I say the zero has got a bit it's always been pushed back and caught on something so that's a two and that's a zero and then we have a two zero a five zero and a ten zero and those in fact I might keep those out instead of the bigger ones and those are for um, and then if you look at the other ones that was three I've been using I've lost one um, 
the two of that one is almost like the five. Let me find the, oops, let me find the three. I've just lost the three. So the Artmaster 3 is bigger than the Pro Art, the Pro Art one. Um, the Artmaster Pearl Series 55 is almost, um, is almost the 5. It's definitely not a two. <laughs> so those are the, the paintbrushes that, that I'll probably be using it in this series. And again, there's the Pro Art six, five, and three. Get them all the right way around. So there's the six, five, and three. And then there's the Pearl Master ones. The 5-0 one is quite handy, yes. Um, but when I work with really fine ones, it's the 10-0, but that's, the, that's why I've got two or three of those, because they, uh, I, do, I do use them quite a lot. I think they're two pounds fifty, something like that. So they're not that expensive, um, and I think you can get a little set. I probably bought these in a set. I can't remember. I have a memory like a sieve. Yes, they yes, still have the different ones. It depends where I am. Um, as I say. My husband thinks I can't spend if I go to a model show, so I find paintbrushes and I thought, oh well, I'll buy these because they are, they are, I knew they were bigger than the ones I already had. And then of course I bought these at a model railway show and I used this set. I've lost one now. There is another one. This is another set. of, um, And again, these aren't art ones, these are for... Uh, these are it Italia, Italeri, um, and that's you know they're very similar. They are very similar. Um, so I'm using I'm I'm kind of guessing that I'm using these kind of shapes. You know, a thicker one, a thinner one, and a fine one. So if you put the fine one next to the ten zero, you know, you've still got that lovely. With a bit of paper going on. You know, you have a lovely. There's no, there's nothing in it. In fact, this one's finer. If you look at the end of the ten zero, it's finer. Um, and these these were a couple of pounds at the model show. Because these don't last forever. I mean, they are getting a, a quite a quite a good beating being uh, being pushed about these pages. You know, I'm not stroking them like this. I'm moving them across. So, you know, they're not going to last forever because they feather the ends. Um, so, again, I don't really look at what they are here. I look at what they are here. I look to see, can I work with those three? Yes, they're perfect. Um, and I don't think I'd got these. Um, I didn't these were at home. So, and again, I'll be having things I can't spend at a model railway show. But I have to prove it wrong. Yeah, once you've played with them, and as I say, the first photocopy I did um, of the Colin Thompson book, that's what I used. So I was using new brushes, I was using new paints, and a, and a, and a way that I wasn't damaging the watercolour paper, the, the um, photocopy paper. And if you can photocopy paper on here, you can do any colour book, and it won't go through, because this is, this is the test. Um, I don't know what I did with my my photocopy that I used to have um, but that's the test and then when you've when you've mastered that um, you can then go in your colour books the only one that's different is the Bible journaling 
that's a lot drier but this technique helps you along the way this is a technique that I just took a step further so that's why I like working like this and it's very very dry Oh, hi, Dorothy. I do apologise. Oh, welcome to Bunny's Design. Sorry, Dorothy, I missed. Um, the only thing about working in this really tiny... I mean, this one is the, the, three, the three zero in this series. But if you put it against the Series 55 Pearl Master, uh, 10 zero, you know, the, the, there's a big difference on the end. A big difference. And yet, if you see how tiny these little tiny leaves are, um, they are about a pinhead. Oh, yes, these are about a pinhead, I would say. That's pretty tiny. Um, so I was trying to get all the little leaves done around the edges and then the little primrose, but I want to put the little ladybugs we're going to have some red ladybugs. So actually, I'm quite pleased I've got this out because I've forgotten about this. Um, I'd forgotten about this. So if I put this here, there's some little tiny ladybugs here. So we want some real ready red red. Um, and I would think this is Madder Carmine. some little red ladybirds and that one is definitely the size of a pinhead <laughs> um, oh my my I can't see this very well so what I could do if I don't make everybody sick and cause an avalanche oops I have oh no that won't work whoa I have two of these lamps. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. The little bugs. Can you see the little bugs? <laughs> That's what I'm working on at the moment. Actually, I can't get a paintbrush under there. Oh, but I can see. I think that's a ladybug. And that's a ladybug. So that's how tiny it is. And I think when I do this colouring book here, I used the magnifying glass last time, and I will be using the magnifying glass when I do this colouring book. This is to take with me. Um, it's the Kirby Roseanne's uh, sketchy stories. And again, you know, if you are colouring in that, I'll just move these out of the way. If you are colouring in this, <laughs> you are going to need you're going to need Just get it at the right angle. You're going to need this. So you can see the tiny detail. So I, I, I think I did colour a page with the magnifying glass. Um, I, was, I think it was the... Uh, I've done these two pages. And these are quite diddy. Um, but this is diddy. The tiger. Do I move the lights now? Uh, sorry about that. But again, you know, this is tiny, and that's my fingernail, the owl and the tigger. So, this is a lovely book, but I wanted to take it with me because, again, this is the same size as my little book of colours. So, if I just take this sketchy stories book. I lift the camera out now so you can see actually see what I'm doing. I can put the 
from the back where it should be. I've dropped all the wires down now. <laughs> so, and I, I do like this little green tray that I've got now because things don't disappear like they used to. Do. So I've got my little sketchy stories book here and then I've got my few hundred colours here and I only have to take my little Victorian um, what, um, paintbrush holder or even just a little tiny watercolour brush a little ditty one um, and that's all I need I mean this is going to keep me going for a long time um, so I put that in that little uh, plastic bag because again you know there's there's quite a few pages in here to draw um, and again this this will keep me going for a while <laughs> so if I was just going to London for the day I would take this to do on the train a couple of hours on the train um, and I probably would take the water brushes with me but I might just take I might trust myself to take one little water brush and with that little water pot this fits in this little bag um, which I thought was brilliant I've lost it now I thought I bought one of these but it's half the size and so I can get all this in a little bag uh, with a water pot and that's the smallest I can go um, but again I was quite impressed with with, with getting that small and again the uh, the gremlin's been in here and <laughs> taken things um, but I've been putting this is another nice brush here um, so I can take that one because that, again that's easy for me to to get to um, the baby wipes, the little pots of water. You can buy these at the model shows, but the glass, if they shatter, be careful because they go everywhere. Um, and then I usually put the Victorian things in, in that one. And the little bag is here somewhere, it's not far away. Um, but I can take that into here. Sketchy stories and my watercolour book and I have a big clean pot uh, all in user's puppet and the Colin Thompson book goes in here and my oh not that one My little Bible goes in here that has its, uh, its pen, so that's in there as well. Little pot out first, so that can go in here. Um, and what was the other thing that I had in here as well? Oh, the sketch, the sketches. Put some of these in here as well. And so that means that this is now my weekend travel bag, but I've got 600 colours in here. Um, or 6,000, depending on how you look at it. And then I've also got all the watercolours in here as well. So, you know, I could disappear for weeks. And I have now got my, my big tote bag down to a little zippy bag. And these were at the pound shop. So I've managed to get um, the Thompson colouring book in here, uh, the Bible in here, and my watercolour set in here, and the Kirby one as well. And then I have a thin sketchbook and I did put the three par 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 parallel pens so I've got my Inktober in there <laughs> and I think that's pretty amazing in a little bag. I think that's pretty good and there will be a bark alert so I'm going to stop the video for there and say uh, thank you for watching um, and I'll show you the page. That's where we are so far. Um, so there will be a bar colour. So that's what we've done so far on that page. So thank you for watching.
Yeah, I love these bags. The others were from uh, Ryman's, I think. Uh, so, oh, that's what I was going to say. So this this pencil case here, which now is my pencil case, actually fits in here as well. So I've got the paintbrushes, I've got the baby wipes, I've got a couple of clean tissues, kitchen roll. I've got the Kirby, the Thompson Cub, Thompson Water Colouring Book in here. And throw in the pens and the art cards. And I think I put that on the outside, that's why. Um, but it does zip up. So I've got tons and tons and tons in there. Um, and this I think is 14 by 10 and a half, I think we said. Um, and that is my tote bag now. And especially if I'm in the wheelchair, because I can take this and it's not going to rain. Um, so all those huge bags that I keep behind, I don't actually need them anymore. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't know what they call these. At, at Ryman's, it has this uh, super strong pencil case. I think they were $1.99, but they weren't definitely more than a couple of quid because I bought that size and I bought the A5 size. And the A5 size fits um these things in here so i've got these in such a little tiny space it's really unbelievable but again because i've had the uh, i've had the thingy gremlin here so <laughs> Everything's disappeared and fallen over, uh, and everything else. I find that paintbrush in there And ah, there it is. Look. So I was dead impressed with that. You put the little what, well, and it is a bit difficult because my hands don't work very well. But you can actually get that into here if I do it the other way. So I put the sketchy stories in. And the watercolour book, I mean, but my watercolour book is, is huge. Um, and then the little water brush, which I can't find now. And the miniature water pot. And that's me, that's me done. And that's going to keep you going for a good week. And you could do one page in watercolour, one page in, a, in the um, gouache, one page in... Hydras, one page in Peerless, <laughs> one page in Ganzai Tambi Watercolours, one page in Ink Tents, one page in uh, Watercolours, Graffitin. So you'd never get bored because you can use one book with lots of different colours in if you want. So I just start. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. I'm hope you. I'm I hope people get things from me. Me waffling. <laughs> I do a lot of waffling. Um, but Hubby's home, so that must mean Dee Dee's Dee not far away. And just trying to get a little bit more organised. Yeah, I was quite impressed with these, and they will last a bit longer than the plastic. Um, because that's the only thing that worries me now. Being in a, in a wheelchair, if it rains, things are going to get wet. Whereas before, it, it didn't bother me, but of course, now it's going to bother me. So. Of course, I love my new baby, and I'm dead impressed with my little page. And my little page. Um, that's got absolutely no bleed through. So I'm going to get the travel iron and see if I can iron that, and then the pages will stay this beautiful. And that's got to be a bonus. And again, can't do hair dryers and gesso, um, because one is I, 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 once I've done all this, and, and smoothed it all out, my hand really wouldn't be okay to, to draw for the rest of the day and I'd rather colour in than, than do that. Um, and I like the fact that it's not, I don't have to use anything else, I can just take my little book of watercolours and this with me if I want to. So have you got any questions? Well, 
so then says I'm lost on watercolour. Well, you, you don't, you just need to pick one. It's just to say, I've got, I wanted to try and show people that whatever they've got, as long as it's water based. Now, the Rexel, in fact, I've got one here, look. This is a Prismalo. Oh, it's Caran d'Ache. And it has a little water brush mark on it. And as long as it's got a water brush mark on it, you can put it in a book. And again, I don't look at the make anymore. I look as if it's got a watercolour. Um, the children's ones are as brilliant because the pigments are as brilliant. But, you know, you, you use what you've got kind of thing. Just let me bury me on that. Just hit that button and 